topic and key to a extraordinary marriage is talk. Let's explore all the ways talking can enhance our intimate experiences. The forms of talking needed to nurture intimacy are talking to connect, talking to teach, talking to learn, talking to close down mental windows, and talking to arouse. Conversation is not only needed for couples to be able to resolve problems well, but it's also the primary fuel for emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy is the primary fuel for women to want to be sexually intimate with their spouse. If you can't talk about sex with your partner, it becomes even more taboo, more emotionally charged, and more difficult to adequately discuss. Intimacy can make you feel exposed and vulnerable by allowing another into your heart, mind, and soul in an open, honest, and transparent relationship. Good communication works best in an atmosphere of honesty mixed with emotional safety and trust. There are many reasons why talking about sex and intimacy can be tricky for couples. So it's important to be open and honest and admit that these conversations can be daunting. It's good to know the purpose of these conversations ahead of time. In that vein, let's discuss the five purposes for talking. The first purpose for talking is talking to connect. It's what happens during pillow talk or date night. Both husband and wife need to be able to express their thoughts, feelings, and opinions with each other openly and honestly and feel heard. Trusting and being trusted by your spouse with your innermost thoughts and feelings can be incredibly bonding and intimate. It's letting yourself be truly known inside and out. Communication is emotional nakedness that bonds us so completely that it makes physical nakedness that much richer and more rewarding. Using communication as a form of emotional connection makes it much easier for a woman to get into a state of wanting to connect sexually. Remember that your thoughts and feelings affect the talk and tone of your conversations. Couples need to just assume that whatever they're thinking about while they're talking is what their spouse is going to hear the most. If your words are neutral, but the thoughts and feelings behind them are of impatience or frustration, then your communication will feel incongruent. The second purpose for talking is talking to teach. This requires a willingness to share insights about yourself. It also requires an emotionally safe environment where neither spouse will be dismissed or denigrated. Sexual communication helps spouses discuss their sexual wants, needs, and preferences. If they don't share these with each other, the couple will have a hard time creating a mutual, enjoyable, and passionate intimate relationship. Both husbands and wives need to be able to identify their own turn-ons and turn-offs and share them with each other. You must be willing to take responsibility for understanding each other's sexual needs, desires, and intricacies by communicating with each other both inside and outside of the bedroom. The third purpose of talking is talking to learn. Talking to learn requires a willingness to ask questions, to listen, and to gather intimate information. It helps you tune into and read your spouse, especially when in the midst of lovemaking. A big part of learning about each other's intimate needs and desires is asking about underlying assumptions that we may make about each other. It's good to check out assumptions about your spouse in several areas, including sex, finances, parenting, household responsibilities, and in-laws. The fourth purpose of talking is to close out mental windows. Working to close out mental windows and redirect one's 
focus to intimate activities may be one of the biggest difficulties faced by women, especially in the initial stages of lovemaking. One of the best tools for helping women clear their minds and channel their many varied thought processes is allow them to talk things out or to vent. Husbands can help with this shift by allowing their wives to make a stress list, a happy list, a gratitude attitude list, or simply by asking, what are you thinking? Sharing in this way helps women to shift their focus from their immediate pressing concerns over to the sexual dimension. And last but not least, talking to arouse. This is vital to passionately connected lovemaking and takes us right to the heart of foreplay and arousal. Intimate verbal communication may be considered part of a couple seduction process and help coordinate their sexual style. It's an added component of caressing each other with words and sounds, particularly unlocking the gateway to ecstasy. As you can see, talk is an essential ingredient for a sextraordinary marriage. Join us next week as we discuss touch. And until then, happy marriaging. To learn more ways to deepen your intimacy and strengthen your relationship, make sure you watch this video next.